Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna share with you my Halloween treats for this year. They came out really, really cool. So if you guys wanna see what I came up with, then please stay tuned. All right, first up is our severed hand or arm cheese ball. Now this was super easy to make. If you guys haven't seen uh, my fall, a uh, charcuterie board, I did do a cheese ball as well, but this one's a little bit different. So I'm taking some sour cream, some cream cheese, some chives, and some onions. Now I'm just showing you a couple of options here. You could make it ranch flavored, the Lipton onion soup, or this toasted onion. Um, I actually went with the toasted onion. It came out really, really good. If you don't like onion, then I would suggest making something else, but it's completely up to you. But this is what we went with, and this is what my family likes. So I'm just going to add everything into the bowl. Make sure your cream cheese is room temperature so it's nice and soft. I did decide to go back and add some more cream cheese. It just wasn't enough. Now here's the fun part and where your creativity comes into play. Everyone has a hand so it's pretty easy to, you know, get an idea of what a hand would look like. So here I just play with it quite a bit. It was nice and soft so it was easy to work with. Once I got it to where I was, you know, happy with it, I put it in the freezer just so it was easy to remove it from the parchment paper. Now this is what you're going to do right before you serve it. We're going to add the prosciutto right on top. I got it super thinly sliced so it really looks like flesh or skin. Came out super cool and really kind of gross. Gross. <laughs> you don't really want to eat it, but um, it's definitely, definitely cool. A crowd pleaser for sure. All right, next up is our melting jack-o'-lantern brownies. Now this idea is similar to like the melting snowman for Christmas, except for obviously for Halloween. So what you're gonna need is some brownies. I pre-made them out of a box or you can make it from scratch, whatever you like. Some mini chocolate chips, some orange um, like candy melts, and then some jumbo marshmallows. Now all you're simply gonna do is dunk your marshmallow into your candy melts. Make sure you leave the excess. You'll see later, I did add some underneath just because I felt like it wasn't enough, but you'll see here I'm just tapping it. It's making the extra chocolate melt down and drizzle over the brownie very naturally. You don't have to like spread it yourself with a spoon. Like I said, I did make these brownies from a box. I made them the day before, so they're nice and firm, but gooey inside at the same time, just so you could easily tap it like I'm doing so here. All right, once we've done that, we're gonna add our little mini chocolate chips for the top of the jack-o'-lantern. Now, after they've cooled and hardened, um, you're gonna add the faces. This was a little bit more difficult because there wasn't a lot of space to work with, but do your best. You can always just skip adding the face or just add some eyes and some mouth like I did. It was kind of hard to get it all on there, but they came out super cute nonetheless. All right, next up, this was my daughter's favorite. It is the pizza skulls. Now this pan I got at Joann's. They did have one at Walmart as well. So what you're simply gonna do is make a pizza. We're gonna spray the inside of the pan. You're gonna get your pizza dough, your pizza sauce, your pizza toppings. I did pepperoni and olives and cheese, of course. Um, you can add more or less, completely up to you. And then I added some seasoning as well. So you're gonna spray that pan really, really good. Slice up your pizza crust into four squares. Now this took some trial and error. Some came out a little bit fatter, some came out a little bit thinner, but I was really worried about the pizza sauce leaking through. So you'll see here, I didn't add too much. Um, I added the cheese, all the toppings, the seasoning, and then I sealed it with another piece of dough. Now I would recommend stretching out that dough and kind of folding it into itself just so they're not so bulky. Um, the faces did come out really cool as you can see, but some of them were a little bit thicker than I would have liked. But you know, trial and error, you, you figure it out as you go. So that would be my suggestion to you guys if you make it. All right, this is my favorite one. It is the bloody Jello brain. Now I love this. It came out so creepy cool. My daughter is helping me. We had so much fun. Now we did this the night before. Now we're just gonna take some oil and spread it around that mold. I got the mold from Amazon. I will link it down below. Then you're gonna set it into a bowl just so it doesn't move around. Now we're gonna mix up our Jello mixture. I got three boxes of strawberry Jello. And you're gonna add in your evaporated milk. It's gonna make like a really creamy red bloody color. It's like the perfect color for a brain. So we've got it set in our mold. We're just gonna stick it in the fridge overnight. Here's the next day. I am sticking my finger in between the jello and the mold just to loosen it, and it came out with no problem. You guys will see it kind of flops on the plate. Um, I did read that some people had a hard time 
um, getting it out of the mold, but mine, it just flops right out. No issue at all. After that, I'm just gonna wipe off all that excess oil and you'll see how jiggly it is. Look at that, so awesome. Now to make this even more gross, we're gonna add some red raspberry jam and the key is to get the seedless one. You don't want those chunks. So I'm gonna mix the jam with a little bit of water, stick it in the microwave just to make it a little bit more uh, liquidy. And now we're gonna drizzle it over the brain. Now here I got this actually from Target. It is a candy holder or like a candy bucket, but I didn't know what to do with it. And then I saw this, I was like, this would be a great idea. So I just put some shopping bags and then put some aluminum foil on top. Made sure everything was nice and clean. Now we're gonna rest that brain right inside. Now you need to be very careful. Look at my daughter jumping up and down, she's so excited. Now I'm just gonna wedge it in there and kind of position it so that the brain lines up with the rest of the face. Right before the party, you're gonna add the jam, just kind of drizzle it over. And I love how it spilled over. I didn't mean to do that, but it makes it look even cooler. Love it so much. All right, next up is our eyeball jello shots. These are really fun. These are kid friendly. There is no alcohol in them, just a heads up. You can make it with that if you would like, but these are for kids. So we're just gonna make our jello as you would per normal. As you can see, I had some leftover red jello, so we put those in those plastic cups, let them sit overnight. All right, here we are the next day. This is the fun part is adding the eyeballs. These gummy eyeballs I got from Amazon. I will link them down below. Walmart had some, but they were always sold out. So I got these instead. So we're just gonna alternate the colors and how cool is this? All right, next up is our creepy witch fingers. They are actually mozzarella sticks. This one is so simple. Just need the mozzarella sticks and some pumpkin seeds. And I'm gonna use that glitter icing as like a nail polish. You'll see here in a minute. So you're gonna bake your mozzarella sticks as you would. I put mine in the air fryer. You're going to stick in your little pumpkin seed and then you're going to paint it with the glitter icing. Now I did it beforehand and it was messy, so I would recommend putting in the pumpkin seed and then adding the polish, if you will. Look how cool. All right, next up is our spider web cookie pie. Now this one was fun. My daughter helped me with this as well. You're just gonna need some cookie dough, a cookie sheet. We've got some icing. We've got also some black cookie icing as well as the sparkle icing, the cookie decorators, and some sprinkles and a pretend little spider. Now the spider's optional, but I thought it looked really cool. So we're just gonna spray that cookie pan really good. Now we are going to spread out our cookie dough mixture. Now we had a little bit of a boo-boo, I'll be honest. It did spill over the pan a little bit. Um, it got kind of in my oven and made a little bit of a mess, but it still came out really good. I just wanted it to be flat and circular as much as possible. So keep that in mind if you make this, leave a little bit of room. Don't use all of the cookie dough like I did. Um, as you can see, I've put it right up to the border and it spilled over. So, note to self, <laughs> we won't be doing that again. So after it's out of the oven, we're gonna put our icing in the microwave for like 30 seconds till it's nice and liquidy. We're gonna pour it out on top, use a spatula to kind of spread it around. It's kind of flooding everywhere. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. We want it to look like a spider web. So now we're using that cookie icing, the black cookie icing, and then she's taking a toothpick and pulling it from the inwards to the outside. As you can see, it kind of makes like a little spider web pattern. Now I wasn't satisfied, so I wanted to add more. So here we are adding more glitter and more icing just to make it look really, really detailed. And once you've done that, you'll take your sprinkles. We're taking out some eyeballs here from the mixture and sprinkling it around. Just put it around the edges. And then the final touch is adding the spider to the middle. How creepy cool is that? All right, guys, that is my treats for this year. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. Mine by far is the Bloody Jello Brain. That one is just so cool and gruesome. You don't even want to eat it. It looks so cool. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you haven't seen my video that I made two years ago um, of my Halloween treats, I will link it down below and above. You guys should definitely go check that one out. It was super popular. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.